Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of our uh, air cargo operation that we have going on in Alaska. Today, we've loaded up all of our cargo. We got a box full of uh, frozen fish inside of our aircraft. You can see uh, we have 1886 on board for frozen fish. And we're going to be flying it from Wrangell out to uh, Klawak. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's, uh, that's where we're going. So now we'll go and we will uh, get our aircraft all started up here. Okay, so we loaded everything up. Let's run through all of our checklists again. So with our checklist here, uh, before starting checks, control lock we remove, parking brake is set, emergency uh, fuel switches are normal. Uh, they should be on normal. Fuel selector valve is on normal, cabin light set, position light on. So let's go over here and let's set our position light to on. So position lights are on, pitot heat is off, it is off. Generators are off, they are off. Flaps are up, we know that they're up. Uh, propeller levers are full forward and they are not. So let's go ahead and shove those full forward. Maybe. Okay, those are full forward now. And power levers, flight idle about 10%. Ignition should be on norm. So ignition is on normal. It's starting to get a little dark. DC source and master, bat on. Bat and on. Uh, fuel quantity check, 25% minimum. We should have uh, pretty close to full fuel here. We did fill up, uh, it cost us $554 to fill up, so that was great. Got a Garmin loading up here too. Uh, forward fuel boost pump, we're going to go ahead and turn that on. Let's get some engines running. Starter engage on the right. So before we do, clear prop. Alrighty, let's go ahead and start her on up here. So we'll start on the right side. And it's on. The reason why we're not starting. Okay, start. So it would surely rotate here. For some reason I can't hear it starting. Alright. Get some there we go. All of a sudden, we got some, uh, some sound. Nice. Everything's looking good here. We're climbing with our uh, percent of our prop RPM, our torque pressure. Everything else is looking pretty good here. Everything's in the green. All right, on to the other engine. Go ahead. Let's turn on our aft boost pump. That's on. Clear on the left. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Okay, so top RPM's coming up here. About 14. Let's get some fuel. comes the fuel. Here we go. Let's continue on with our checklist here. The starters disengage, starters back to center. It is back in the center. After start checklist, the power levers idle 15%. Okay. Generators on, lights out. Let's go ahead and turn on these gens. That way we get the light out. Lights are out. Instruments within limits. So the engine instruments are all within limits here. Compass and gyro is set. Looks like we're at about 179. Uh, 169. 169, so we should be pretty close to that on here. Yeah, it says about 170. Uh, caution lights appropriate. Altimeters and clocks set. So our altimeters and our clocks. Let's make sure here that is set. Anti-collision and position lights are going on here. Anti-collision, position lights are on. We'll turn on all these lights. Flight compartment light. 
Thought maybe that would turn on the light back there, but okay. Taxi light's gonna go on. Pedo, you were gonna go on. Lead air, we can turn on too, so that way we can keep it nice and warm in here. Okay. Looks like everything's loaded in here properly. So that's good. We will be going up to 10,000 feet today. And there's 10,000 feet. Aside from that, we should be good to go. We're release here, and we will taxi on around. Try not to hit fuel truck. Oh, we got a high wing. We should be good. Check our brakes here. Brakes are checked, and uh, we're checking our gyros as well. So let's go ahead and we'll load up our Navigraph charts. Perfect. Here's our route. We have our runways here. So we're going to be parting up for only 10 today. That's where the wind's. That's for only 10. No departures. And then approach us into here. Uh, once we get airborne, we'll figure out what the weather's like there. Uh, we'll, we'll choose to approach. approaches in, so we will put something in there. Okay, let's continue. So as for our checklist now, for checklist, taxi checks, run-up checks, park brake, we did have that set. Let's go ahead, auto feather, anti-ice as required. We don't need it right now, we will later. I'm going to go ahead and turn on our uh, windshield, even though windshield needs on. Autopilot checked. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, autopilot's checked. Before takeoff, uh, fuel quantity checked. Fuel quantity looks good to me. Fuel boost pumps are on. Rudder trim tab set to 10 degrees. We got that. Flight instruments, they're all checked. Navcom's radios are set. Propeller levers full forward. Which they should be. They are. Auto feather is selected. Flaps takeoff. Flaps are set for takeoff. Engine instruments within limits. Edo heat, we got it on. ATS is required. Flight controls uh, free, full travel. Looks good to me. Transponder is on. Landing lights, because we're taking the active here. They're going on. And uh, caution lights appropriate. They are appropriate. Runway heading check. So runway 10 is where we're going to be departing from. So let's go ahead and set that into our heading. Alright, there's 100 set in there. We're also going to want to spin our CDI needle around because we know the direction that we have to go. Alright, before we get going here, let's put in this to PAKW. Alright, short final's clear, long final's clear. I don't see anybody on the runway. Let's taxi on out. Pull up over here, and then we will turn around. This is runway 10, it's confirmed. Turn around, and we'll head on out of here. Alright, runway 10. Let's go. All right, power set. Your speed's alive.
pilot's on. It's actually working today, so that's nice. Soon after landing here. Okay. And we're off. So, temperature outside is... Yeah, it's cold. So, it's uh, definitely below freezing. So, let's go ahead and turn on our de-ice. It's on auto. Torpedo heat's on. It is. Everything else is looking good. So, we'll probably pick up some ice here. Let's see if we can increase our vertical speed a little bit. This is actually working today. I'm going to climb at about 87. So, I mean, you know, we can really increase this. We should also pull back the thrust just a hair. Here we go. Don't like the red here. It doesn't look like we're actually picking up any ice, which is good. Let's go ahead and turn off that taxi light. Taxi light's off. setting. We're on GPS now. That's much better. The aircraft should be turning. Capture the GPS here. Let's redirect ourselves. So what we're going to do is we're going to take all this fresh fish and we're going to uh, deliver it. We're going to make like $9,000 off of it. Uh, once we're finished here, we'll kind of take a look at our company cash. We currently have $714,000. In fact, we can probably take a look at that now. So down in the bottom left-hand corner, we can see that we have uh, company cash of $714,000. I'm the only pilot. You know, we're flying from uh, PAWG to PAKW. I do have another flight back from PAKW, uh, back home to uh, Juno, and I think we're taking some like more expensive stuff, so should be interesting. All right, one to go here. So it says that if we want to get the ASOS, it's going to be 135 or 50. 35, 45. Okay, 135, 45. And then if we take a look now, here we go, observation. Five and five visibility is good. Ceiling nineteen are broken. Temperature five, new point in ten. Altimeter three zero one five. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and set three zero one five in here. I'm gonna set that on both sides. Okay. We got that set. And uh, with the winds like they are. 
car down there. We're going to be landing on runway Q0. So let's go ahead and plan on an approach down there. Let's select an approach. Enter. It's going to be runway the RNAV runway 20. Let's double check and make sure that that looks right. Here's the RNAV runway 20. Perfect. It's on the way here too. So if we go off of Wando and then we come in from there, that should be good. So our nav runway 20, enter. Off of Wando, let's load. Beautiful. Let's proceed direct to Wando now. There we go, let's go direct to Wando. And there we are, so we're actually now going direct to Wando beginning of that RNAV approach. Let's brief the approach here real quick so we don't have to do it later. Final approach course is 216. 3400 at Zetsa. 2340 for the LNAV MDA. I don't think we have VNAV in here. You don't. So Wando looks like 4300 feet is where we need to be. Uh, to intercept there at Wando, straight in LNAV. Uh, this aircraft, luckily with this 430, will give us some vertical guidance down to follow it the whole way. And we'll be landing on runway 20. As for the airport, let's talk about that real quick. So the airport runway 20, it's going to be a left turn off here into uh, the apron, and we're going to uh, deliver our cargo. And we'll call that briefed. outside and enjoy the views. I'll catch you guys back here prior to the descent. checklist we got here as well. So descent checklist, fuel quantity checked, we're looking to go to the fuel, caution lights appropriate, ANTS as required, cabin sign set, and landing lights go on. So landing lights, oops, 
are on. Might get a little bumpy going into here. Ceiling 1900 feet broken. Alright, good thing we're shooting the approach into here. We're gonna have some heavy rain we gotta deal with. So Zetsa is 3400 feet. We'll go ahead and we will set 3400 feet in here. There's 3400. actually on the approach will let us do it. If not, it's okay. It is a LNAV anyway, so there should be step downs. We got 6.9 miles to uh, descend a thousand feet. That's easily attainable. Right to 231 in four seconds. selected. I 
Look at all these mountains in our way. Outside of Zetsa, we're coming all the way down now to land. Oh boy. for me to pull off, dude, I would, but uh, you're going to have to pull off for me, sorry. Alright, we're going to play chicken, we're going to see who wins.
truck won't hit me. Everybody's trying to hit me today. Set. Let's go ahead and let's kick it off our engines and we'll get everything unloaded. There we go. We'll leave the flaps where they're at for right now. And uh, let's turn off our battery and our master. Beautiful. All right, let's get paid. So let's take a look here. So let's finish the flight monitoring. I don't think we're going to need any fuel here. So that was our flight. We're going to finish the flight monitoring. And then from there, we'll take a look. So right now our company cash uh, down here, 723000 I'm the only pilot. I did kind of want to take a look here and see something while they offload our airplane. I wanted to see in the marketplace what other aircraft are costing here. So we could lease some aircraft. A 747 you could lease for $28 million. It's not something we're going to be doing right now, but you know, eventually we will uh, we'll get there. $231 million to buy it. But if we wanted another one of these twin otters, so if we wanted to start a well, start another uh, aircraft. We could lease it for 335000 The monthly rental uh, is 148000 though. So that means that we would have to keep getting our uh, pilots in the aircraft and make them fly. So we'd have to hire another pilot too. So I think for now what we'll do is we'll stick with this airplane. We'll keep making some more money. When we get up to about a million, or, you know, close to a million, then we'll think about uh, getting another airplane. So, that's where we're at right now. Our next uh, next job is going to be from PAKW up to PAJN. We actually do have uh, a, a mission here. There we go. Microwave ovens, 1,900 pounds for $21,000. And then we could come back with some Blu-ray players for thirty-five thousand. There's also some compact discs for thirty-six thousand, but they weigh too much. So yeah, so we got we got some more things. Um, we might go north instead and just keep kind of exploring as well. Uh, there are just some random air, airports kind of all over the place here. Uh, so we will continue with this. But all right, guys, uh, thanks for hanging out. That concludes. The, uh, the episode here for Air Hauler 2 and, uh, and Microsoft Flight Simulator. So until next time, guys, take care. See y'all later.